Good job, pretty lady. You better finish that breakfast. You better finish that breakfast before we get back. Big Cat Rescue. Alright, so welcome, welcome. Take a second to share this, tag each other, alert everybody that we're live. I am trailing behind Emma. Emma is our level five intern that is um, coordinating now on Sundays. And she said that she needed to go feed Kimba and Manny, so that's who we're following. <laughs> Today is uh, Ivermectin. Um, a while back, Erin switched it from the first Monday of every month to the first Sunday of every month because she is here to coordinate that day and make it all work. And it worked out a little easier on Sundays than Mondays. So, all the main residents on property are getting their ivermectin this morning, so feeding started a little late. Have to get everybody Emma, dosed. Can you switch to three? <laughs> Emma's a busy girl this morning. <laughs> oh, erin has got it. Erin's okay. like, let Emma feed. <laughs> I was like, this isn't like the right time. <laughs> All right, so Emma's gonna feed Mr. Kimba. We're gonna kind of stay back, although he's usually pretty nice to me, but. It is a tiger at feeding time, so. Hopefully he won't be weird and suspicious, but. So we just got started. We haven't actually seen a cat yet. We're just watching Emma put all of the yummy in for <laughs> Kimba. <laughs> Kimba and Manny are fed and cleaned by master keepers or trained level five interns. And you probably don't have any master. No, you've got, I think Babs is here, right? I'm yeah. Say there's... Babs is here. She's helping with the other route. Yeah. You always have to have an upper level on each route and then a master usually with a buddy for these big kids. All right. Drum on top. That's a lot of food. Lots of food for Mr. Like Kimba. Carry. Yeah. <laughs> the gross, grossest Sunday ever. <laughs> the cherry on top. So you guys have time to share this, tag each other. Of course, Jasmine's back here harassing Chevy. Jasmine's the one that you see right there. There goes Mr. Kimba. That's a good boy. Good job, sir. Figured I'd give him some space up here. Good job. So you guys will see that in order to clean Kimba and Manny, we have to shift them from side to side. We only clean the side they're not on. So Emma is going to close his door, separating him from his feeding section versus that way over there not where Jasmine is but beyond that so that is the door we close during feeding time he'll eat and then he'll stay on this side until his cleaner has been able to clean up the other side good job mister let me zoom on you for a second I won't get any closer Job, sir. Emma, do you know roughly how many pounds of food he's eating today? Yeah, I know. I know it was between ten and well, when they first got here, it was seventeen pounds. <laughs> Won't even fit in that bucket anymore. <laughs> but usually around 10 to 12 pounds is what the boys will generally eat. 
when they first got here, we were really trying to spruce them up though. Good job, sir. A lot of activity over there. Yeah. Feeding Maxie across the street. All right, I walk by very slowly. Thanks so much for sharing breakfast with us. We never linger for too long with uh, Kimba because we want to get a good visual. We want to make sure he's walking okay, his eyes look bright and clear, um, that he's chewing okay, and that he's interested in eating. All of those things are very important. But then we clear out <laughs> because we don't want him to start eating so fast that he ends up trying to regurgitate it. We don't want him yelling at us or being um, aggressive at breakfast time because this should be his happiest time of the day, which I think he looks very happy. So <laughs> we can linger a lot longer usually with Manny. So we'll go over to Manny. We've got Beecher and Diablo over here eating. Sarah Dee's here today, so she'll make sure Diablo gets a full belly. Thank you to everybody helping out in the comments. Try not to do too much talking because we don't like to distract them. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, buddy. All the other cats are currently being fed. These are kind of the only two we're technically following, but hi, Mr. Man. Can we watch you this morning? What's up, buddy? Watch you be such a good boy. Oh, look at all those drums. Yummy. All oh, those drums in there. Emma, I'm feeding Kelly. I think he'll figure out how to get it. He's pretty smart, right? Yeah, he is pretty smart. <laughs> So Emma's gonna do the same thing. Well, oh, they already did it. Awesome. So same rule applies with Manny. During feeding time, we close a tunnel door that is already closed during lockouts apparently, which is awesome. And then he can't go over to the opposite side of his enclosure until the cleaners are done. And then they'll shift him and then they'll clean this side. trouble with those bones today. <laughs> Yeah, technically not a feeding tour today. I just happened to go up front and all the other feeding routes were out feeding. Again, today's the monthly ivermectin, so feeding starts a little later, takes a little longer. But Manny and Kimba did not mind getting their ivermectin. Been a little bit of a hectic morning, it sounds like. Our AM meds person not feeling well. I hope she feels better. 
get it. I knew you'd get that with your paw. Emma was worried about that piece of red kind of hanging out the side, and I was like, well, there's nothing we can do about it now. He's going to get it <laughs> his own way. <laughs> Where are you taking that piece of red? Over here where no one can take it from me. So we've only seen Mr. Kimba and Mr. Manny this morning. Come here, sir. There's more over here. You better come get the crumbs. You better come get these crumbs. You better. You come get these crumbs. Come on, sir. There's little crummies in here. There you go. See if there's a jinxie around. There is, cause guess what I'm wearing? My jinx shirt. Oh my very goodness. It's jinx. <laughs> and he's right over here. Look at super cute. <gasps> jinxie, were you watching? Were you watching? Hi, Bob. Look at that mister. Look at that mister jinx. So this is Jinx, a black leopard. We've seen Kimba, our youngest tiger. We just saw Manny, our only jaguar. And now we're here with Jinx, our only black leopard. Jinx, Jinx, who are you stalking? Who are you stalking? He's like, it was fun watching you when you didn't realize I was watching, but now this isn't fun. <laughs> You can buy Jinx uh, apparel at BigHeartRescue.biz. Right, mister? Did you come get water out of your favorite bowl yet? No. Let me zoom. It's been acting funky this morning. Yeah, so we've we've actually had quite a few level five interns over the last couple of years. You guys remember Fred and Dylan, they went through their level fives. That basically means they did all four levels within a, a full year here at Big Cat Rescue and then they decide to come back as a level five and they do a full year as a level five. So then after that we had Nisha and Jordan and Kat, who Kat is still the last one from that group that's finishing up her level five. And then Emma and Ryan came back for their level five and they're kind of at the very beginning. They both just started coordinating. She's doing rehab. In fact, she netted Makani just about two weeks ago for the first time. And then she helped net uh, Autumn so we could weigh her. On Thursday, we um, caught Autumn to weigh her and then we did a lot of mowing in her enclosure that day as well, mostly Emma. <laughs> and um, Autumn weighed in around 13 pounds. So we are now in discussions with um, at what point in time we're going to be collaring her and I think it's gonna be soon. And then there may be a release even sooner. So excited about that. I know she's still looking into release sites and information for release of Orpheus. I think we're hoping that both of those cats will get to run free before we leave for Africa, so exciting so lots and lots happening we are like ugh, we have three weekends till we leave so after today only two weekends until we leave I know buddy don't look at me like that I'm having a hard time leaving you I don't want to leave you <laughs> so that would be pretty awesome though to have two less rehabs 
out living their free life. Right, Bubbun? My goodness. Oh my very goodness. Do you see yourself on my shirt? That's so silly. So silly. I know, I, I really, I absolutely love all the designs we have in our online store right now. We've got two online stores, BigCatRescue.biz and then our spring store, which you can find at BigCatRescue.org slash tees, T-E-E-S. And I sat down the other day and I went on the shop by design page where it shows every single type of design. Um, and then you can see all the products that design is on and wrote out a list of everything that I want. So I have a list of 20 t-shirts right now that I desperately need. <laughs> I'm gonna have to special order them so that they have the logo and staff on the back of them. But it's like, I need, there's another Jinx shirt I need. So many things. So I hope you guys enjoy shopping on that site as much as I do. <laughs> You know, it does get overwhelming to see how many there are. There's a lot of different designs. Where are we going, sir? Still zoomed in. Are we gonna go play with a toy or are we just gonna go lay down? Oh, we're gonna potty. That's been a thing with you lately. <laughs> That's been a thing with you lately. Hi. Hi, love. Hey, love. Where are you going? Back on that side for some reason. Get your favorite water bowl. Victoria, he's a 23-year-old leopard, so his limp is, I think, here to stay. But he's on twice a day gabapentin to help with any kind of arthritis and pain. Unfortunately, Jinx had been fully declawed at his previous owner. And that causes a lot of health issues in the future, so. Potty in the hand. <laughs> Good job, buddy. So, at least we are making sure pain management is occurring. We're always keeping an eye on him, and it's not slowing him down any. He's still super playful. I'm amazed at how playful he is for his age. Matthew! Goodness! Right. I know you guys were asking about chaos last week. This should be her final week of being on limited cage rest. I think that this coming week is supposed to be a moving cat day. I think there might also be potentially a vet visit day. I don't think it's anything serious. I think it's just stuff that's due that we need to do. So Thursday could be a very busy day. I will be training one of our new rehabbers, Amanda, tomorrow in rehab, and it's a cleaning day. So it's gonna be a heck of an amount of time <laughs> out in rehab. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is probably as close to nine o'clock as possible. I'll do some kind of short walkabout with you guys, and then I'll be out training with her Tuesday I'll be volunteering so probably no live that day unless we hand out something fun. I know there's still three watermelons that need to be handed out to the big cats. Is there a chaos in there? I'm sure she can't wait to have her big tall platform back. Miss Chaos, are you home? Oh, 
she's over there. <laughs> Go figure. Go figure, lady. She's like, my four weeks is up. Let me out there. Hi, honey. Can we just say hi? I know. Let's say hi to that pretty girl. I threw a couple layers of wire, but there's Miss Chaos. Another slight little update is that you guys completely crushed my birthday fundraiser. Deb posted it at the end of last week and within five hours you guys had met the goal. 24 hours later you guys had crushed the goal. Well there she goes. All right. Well you saw, <laughs> you saw chaos. Still doing chaos things like avoiding the camera. <laughs> But she is doing well. She is taking kind of daintier steps, but I'd rather her just slow down in her age, especially having broken a toe. So I'm sure at some point in time this week, they will remove that red pole and she'll have full access back to her enclosure, but that will obviously be up to Dr. Justin. But anyway, my birthday is technically this Friday. So we did the <laughs> fundraiser well over a week early and already met the goal, but anything extra is just going to allow Victor and Jamie to be extra creative. So they will be sprucing up Shiloh's new enclosure with a platform and catwalks and landscaping. I don't think I showed you guys the new addition. They did manage to finish show you. Managed to finish the new section of the memorial wall. There's no plaques on it yet. Lauren is going to do some rearranging. So I've been contacted by a handful of people saying, hey, I, I can't be, um, I can't make a donation for your fundraiser until um, next week. And so that's this week. So we're going to leave that up until Friday, August 12th. Deb can take that down that night. So if anybody this week still feels inclined to donate towards that fundraiser, it is pinned on the top of my Big Cat Rescue public Facebook page. So let me just show you really quickly. You guys know we used to have the old waiting area here. This is where the memorial wall is and it was completely full and they added on this. They kept calling it their movie screen. <laughs> but the cool part is along the back side of it they have built in shelving inside of this that is now housing um, the ashes of the cats. So. We're trying to get everything into one general area, but it spread out a little bit more. So, yep, so we'll be able to make sure everybody goes into the same area together. This was our old tour area. You'd end every tour here. We are at the lake. All right, so. Let's see one more cat. I know he's already had breakfast. He might not be as chatty, but we just saw chaos. Let's go see Cyrus. Let's get that in for the week. Hi, buddy! Hi! Yeah! Say hi to all your friends. Yeah! Let's say hi to all these friends. Say hi to all these friends. Hi, Nabob. 
Hi. Hi, goodness sake. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Nutbug. I saw you up there on top of your pond. I saw you up there on top of your pond. Yeah, you want to tell everybody what the fundraiser did? Yeah. So the fundraiser has covered the memorial wall addition that I just showed you. Um, it will cover the future exciting updates they do for Shiloh Bobcat, as well as there's a very large hospital scale that we can roll the tiger transports onto to weigh any of the big cats um, before and during procedures. And we discovered during Manny's procedure that unfortunately the scale was broken. So the inside components needed. Yeah, I know. Bummer. Inside components that needed fixed was about $700. So another unexpected expense. But you guys helped us cover that by donating to that fundraiser. Yeah, so thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks everyone! Cute boy! Cute boy! You're so silly! You're so silly! Yeah! If you guys missed the little video clip that I posted Thursday before my weekend of Cyrus, it is hilarious. It is hilarious! He's making some new noises, especially before breakfast. Once he's had breakfast, he's back to his regular old trillin'. My goodness, my goodness. You just have all the positivity in the world in those little trills, don't you, babe? Don't ya? My goodness. You probably need an Oh My Very Goodness shirt too. You probably do. I say it to you a lot too. <laughs> oh, isn't he the best? I figured he'd be a good way to end this. Sunday live. If you missed any of it, it was short and sweet, but we saw Kimba have some breakfast and Manny have some breakfast. We got some jinx time. We even, yeah, we even saw chaos. We sure did. We sure did. Yeah, I love you. You say thank you, everyone. Thanks for donations. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for sponsoring me and all my friends. Yeah, giving us the best life you can. Giving us the best life you can. Yeah, good boy. Really appreciate all of you guys for helping out in the comments. So I could just say hi to the kids this morning. Sundays are always that like, ugh, so eager to get in there and see all my kids. See all these kitties. Yeah. I miss you. Oh, somebody please make a Trillin like a villain shirt. <laughs> That's awesome. Even though, of course, he's not a villain. That is just so cute. That is just so cute. Yeah, I would wear that to Disney too. He would. If you missed any part of this live, you can rewatch it at dailybigcat.com. You can find it over on Big Cat Rescue's Twitter or it'll post automatically on Facebook. It's a very exciting week, huh, sir? Lots to do with the grand finale of the old birthday on Friday. <laughs> another year, another year around the sun. Alright everybody, well I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. Wrap up your weekend with something fun. And have a great start to your week. Alright everybody. Say bye bye. One more? One more drive by? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care, everybody.